I started playing the saxophone when I was nine years old. My aunt would play smooth jazz all the time on the radio. I was like, that's what I want to do. I just want to play whatever that instrument is that's leading all the time, and it was the saxophone. And from there, music became a part of me. It kind of became like the oxygen. It just grew into my passion and ultimately my career. I took about six months worth of lessons, and then it was like off at the wind. Theory, lessons, and technical stuff can all be taught. But as far as making someone creative and teaching them passion, that can't be taught. What drew me to the saxophone was a few things. I loved the way it sounded, I liked its soul. When I got older, I started getting inspired by actual musicians. Kenny G was one of my favorites. A saxophonist that has his type of success, I was like, man, I gotta be something like him someday. You know, you wanna shoot for the stars. One of my favorite places to perform here was actually when I played for Kenny G. That, to me, was probably one of my favorite performances ever <laughs> playing for him. I love old school. I'm essentially taking that old school sound of the saxophone that I like in here and combining it with the new sounds that everyone likes to hear. Sometimes you have to take what's already been done and remake it for the modern year. So that's what I like to do. Social media has been one of the driving forces in the success that I've had. That all started when I did a cover of a song called Controla by Drake. Video got 2.1 million views. I posted another video, Versace on the floor, 3.4 million views. And then I posted another one, Beauty and the Beast, 2.1 million views. So many people see the success that they see online. I don't even think I've started yet. Success is a continuum. It's never ending. Always be content, but never be satisfied. Because if you're satisfied, then that means you don't grow. Everybody is different. Now, I'm not completely deaf, but I have 10% hearing in my right ear. Having a hearing impairment in one ear is half the battle that's gone. But it's never hindered me. Nothing can stop you. Whether you're deaf, blind, or you can't walk, it doesn't have to stop you. Keep going. As a saxophonist, I'm not typically the eye of the industry. You're saxophonist, hmm, where do you put us? I'm trying to let the world know there are multiple places, but you have to put us there. Give us a chance. So I'm trying to be that beacon and try and pave the way for all future saxophonists. We can do this. There's no new contemporary saxophonist that is out in the industry right now. So I'm just like, I got this, I can do this. It feels amazing, honestly, because you feel like you're reintroducing something. I want to inspire people. I want you to realize that you only live this one life. That's the purpose, I think, of life, is for you to give. And I think music is my way of giving to people.